Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Art Rascone reporting for the midday. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. There is a light here at the end of the tunnel. We're watching it very closely. Here is your update. The numbers. The Surgeon General says this week is going to be our Pearl Harbor and 9-11 moment. A FEMA report says New York City hospitals will likely be at or near total capacity this week. In response, President Trump deployed 1,000 medical military personnel to help. And as researchers test the anti-malaria drug hydroxychloroquine chloroquine, on patients with COVID-19, the president is promoting the drug. But Dr. Anthony Fauci has said claims about the drug are based on essentially nothing. At a press conference overnight, the president blocked Fauci from answering questions about the drug. Would you also weigh in on this issue of hydroxychloroquine? What, what do you think about this, and you what is the, what is the medical evidence? Yeah. Well, I, I Maybe 15, the doctor. 15 times. Okay. You don't have to ask He's, the he's your medical expert, <laughs> correct? He's answered that okay. question 15 times. There is some good news out of New York City there. Now, this is the light here at the end of the tunnel. 75% of those hospitalized for COVID-19 have since been released and are now recovering at home. And signs of hope as well in Europe as Italy's virus curve begins to fall. The country's death toll was at its lowest in more than two weeks. In Spain, new deaths dropped for a third straight day. However, Britain is seeing a jump in virus deaths. It is outpacing now Italy. Now, starting today, carmaker General Motors is finally starting to make fa face masks. GM has reopened its plant in Detroit to offset the severe shortage of masks caused by the pandemic. The masks are level one, which means they cannot be worn in surgery, but should offer some protection for hospital workers and the general public. And a commercial airliner from China landed at LAX, Los Angeles, delivering thousands of hospital gowns to be used by healthcare workers fighting the pandemic. This, of course, is part of a, the Project Airbridge, an effort by the White House and other countries to fly in protective gear and other supplies. All right, now a look at some of the positive stories coming out of the coronavirus pandemic. Here is Tom Cook. <laughs> People across the country continue to find creative ways to thank everyone on the front lines during the pandemic. In Mississippi, members from 20 different churches drove their cars to the Singing River Health Hospital in Pascagoula, flashing their lights and honking their horns to thank the doctors, nurses, and other staff members. In Riverside, California, colorful chalk messages can be seen on sidewalks thanking first responders and delivery people. And critical care workers in Thousand Oaks, California, took some time out of their busy day delivering a hearty lunch to thank another Another group working on the front lines, grocery workers. Chris Banner normally entertains at birthday parties and other special occasions, but during this time of social distancing, he's looking to bring a little happiness to a lot of people. He dons his bat suit and hits the road in his replica 1989 Batmobile. He hopes seeing Batman roll down their streets will help people feel like they can take on their new supervillain, the coronavirus. <laughs> Healthcare workers at Hershey Children's Hospital in Pennsylvania are breaking out their dance moves to boost morale. Staff from the Pediatric Intermediate Care Unit danced to Sister Sledge's classic, We Are Family. The clip was posted on Facebook with the caption, Sorry, coronavirus, you can't take away our sunshine. This is how our PIMCU family finds joy in the hard times. I'm Tom Cook, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Great to see some positive stories there. We can get through this. We will. Not we can, but absolutely will. More prayers. That's what we need. Thanks for joining us here for the midday. For news any time of the day, go to abc13.com, our ABC 13 news app as well. I'm Art Rascone. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow right here, same place, same time, the midday.